So, you're looking for a holeless bagel. I'm pretty sure that's just a piece of bread, but go up. Uh, yep, go go for it. Hey guys, I'm about to touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at some issues and some reasons as to why your brush might not be working in GIMP. So, I've got a couple of comments about this. I've seen this, I've experienced this with some people. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to go through some reasons as to why this could be happening. So essentially, if you don't know what I'm talking about, essentially what, what I'm saying is when you try to when you try to use your brush, it doesn't work like this. It doesn't work like this. It doesn't look like this. It just doesn't work. Um, so a couple of things are going to be happening um, is first and foremost, go to your tool option settings down here, over here on the left or the right, wherever you have it at. Um, wherever you have these brush settings. So if you take a look at all these, you have the size, aspect ratio, all this stuff. So if I've seen a lot of people, they have had, they've had their force all the way on zero. And if you have your force on zero, when you click and drag, nothing will happen. Nothing's drawing, nothing's painting. So you have to make sure that your force is up, not on zero, at least on 1%. But um, if you want to go ahead and just reset all of these values back to default, hit this little button here, and it'll set everything back to the default of GIMP. Now, like I said, some people, I have seen some people have their force on zero. So if you're painting, this is probably the biggest reason as to why your, your brush isn't working, because it's on zero. So just hit that little yellow icon. The default is 50. So yeah, you have that right there. Now it's looking good. You know what I'm saying? Night, right, cool. Sweet. Um, so second, um, you could have this isn't necessarily why the brush isn't working, but I mean, you could also have your opacity all the way down. So if your opacity is down, obviously that too, make sure you check that. Um, the, one of the biggest things I've seen is, um, I don't have it here because I don't think I have the newest version of GIMP, but GIMP has a new mode. I forget what it's called. Um, but there's a new mode, like normal erase, dodge screen overlay. There's a new mode. Um, like I said, I do forget what it, what the mode is called, but it's it's something where when you're drawing, whatever you're drawing will be subtracted from the image instead of adding to it. So if that's what it is, it will also appear as if it it doesn't work. It's like essentially it's like um, essentially it's like drawing on on screen on but on like a on a, like on a, on a like a like a like a like a white background like this. So essentially, this is what it looks like. You're not doing anything. That's what it looks like. But so essentially my point is make sure your mode is on normal. Make sure your mode's on normal. Um, I have seen some people with the default mode on a new mode that will make it so that your brush does not work properly. So make sure that uh, your mode is set to normal so you can like, you know, paint properly. Um, yeah, that's another one. And I have seen some people talk about... Um, it, the the brush is like snappy it's snappy and i do believe that's because you have it uh, snap to grid now if you take a look um at uh at these settings up here in the view you can see snap to grid and if you have that on depending on how big your grid size it'll be it'll be mo more noticeable but you can see my brush is kind of snapping around it's just my gr my brush size is super small so you can really tell but if i were to go ahead and do something like this and then take a look you can see it's snapping you see my brush is snapping to all the different grid points instead of like you know just drawing smooth it's like drawing weird wavy lines like that so go up to the view snap the grid make sure that's off and then when you draw it'll draw a straight line um so that is uh that is some reasons as to why your brush might be acting a little weird there's a couple other reasons too but i think these are the reasons that i had some people talk to me about um so these are the ones i'm going to cover today um like i said if your brush is still being weird let me know down in the comments we'll we'll see if we can uh if we can figure out what's going on um like i said that's probably the biggest one so all things in all Make sure snapped grids off, make sure your mode is set to normal, and make sure your force is set to 50 or anything other than 0%. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope this actually helped you in GIMP. Um, I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.